Hello, I'm Russell Brand. Welcome to True's US Special. We're going to look at some American media, notably Fox News. They come here to kill us, and we worry about what they think of us. Hello, and welcome to Justice. This is Justice Judge Janine. So what should we do? Send in more troops to protect sacrifices already made? Cut a deal with the devil, Iran? Iran is not the devil. And uh, referring to them as such is incendiary and provocative. She's talking about the situation in Iraq. She's adjudged Iran to be uh, in league with Satan or even the embodiment of Satan. Hopefully, over the course of this, she's going to acknowledge the US government and, and, and military in their meddling with foreign affairs have created this situation in Iraq, created the threat of ISIS, likely armed them over the course of the preceding decade and certainly contributed to the instability in that region that's generated the problem. There should be no further intervention or meddling because that's, that, that's what led to the problem in the first place. Over to you, Justice. The ISIS assault, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, signals the beginning of the reverse crusade. They are coming for us. To them, we are the infidels. Hold on. They're not. <laughs> They're not coming. But also, it's interesting when you said, to them, we are the infidels, meaning that she regards them as infidels, which means unclean, disconnected from God. Don't try and counter religious extremism with religious extremism. Americans have shed enough blood there. My resolution? Airstrikes. Bomb them. Bomb them. Keep bombing them. Bomb them again and again. Fucking hell, Justice Judge Janine. Bomb them. She's pointing everything. Bomb them. When they do these bombings, it creates more insurgents. That's what creates them. Don't think of the bomb as going down there and destroying stuff. Think of it as it's like a seed that goes into the ground and grows insurgents out of it. It creates m more terrorism doing it. And I don't care how long it takes. Just take out ISIS, take out their convoys, and take out those troops. Imagine living with this woman. Oh, I love. No, I'm not all right. Get in there and make my dinner. Cook it and cook it again. I don't care how long it takes. Oh, fucking hell. You have to have a good day at work at a course or something. Mind your own business. I will punch you and punch you again in the cock balls and uh, I'm going to see if I can get this marriage annulled. I'll anal you. Annulled. All right, let's look your strong suit. And even though our president says he didn't know, they told us they were coming for us. The head of this band of savages. Yeah, don't describe your fellow human beings as that. What that's like doing is, you know, we all feel frightened sometimes. And like, say it's like someone mugged me or beat me up. I might, in the immediate aftermath, go, that fucking bastard, they're like animals. Oh, I hate it. Oh, the hanging's too good for them. But then I'd come down, I'd come home, I'd have a cup of tea and everything, talk to some people, and I'd go, Right, probably they were really poor and that, and I am quite lucky because I've got all these resources and I'm rich and stuff. Well, probably we need a fairer society, and if you want stuff like that to end, you're going to have to be fair. And actual justice, ironically, uh, justice is their middle name. That's the thing that's required is justice. Justice and tolerance and compassion. Letting them have self-governance. Aid for the refugees in the region. Try and stabilise them and help them to create infrastructure. Not the bombing, bombing, bombing system. Not referring to fellow human beings as savages. That will make things much worse. ISIS is a fanatical religious terrorist organisation. So is Fox News. It's a fanatical terrorist propagandist organisation. This isn't reasonable, is it? Like the way she's talking, bomb them, bomb them. Imagine, like, she's worse. Like, when uh, you see them videos of someone, like, with a thing on with a rifle, like, going, here's an arm, oh, no, no, I will bomb and bomb. You're like, fucking hell, they're a bit heavy. She's taking life with She's doing it. She's just doing it with a city backdrop. She's the savage. She's espousing savage values. And if you think they are nothing more than ragtag rebels, you are wrong. They are a sophisticated band of militants who add to their ranks by emptying out jails and have $1.5 billion. I don't think they're that well funded. They're not as well funded as the American government or Halliburton or many of the corporations that went into that region in the immediate aftermath of the war to exploit commercially the opportunities that have been created and the resources that have become available as a result of the international, Britain included, assault on Iraqi soil. No wonder people are pissed off. 
They want the people to join. Like them people, militants, ragtag, bobtails, whatever she thinks they're called, or they're not that. Old. What they are is human beings that have organised to deal with an extreme situation. The way to deal with it is to ameliorate the extremity, not enhance the extremity. They have a centralized command structure superior to Iraq's military command. With corporate reports and savvy social media, they measure their performance by the number of deaths. I mean, really, you're just making stuff that foreign people do sound worse. And, like, America does have armies, does have trained killers that they unleash to meet their objectives. So does Britain. So does everybody. That's the rules of the game. Only when the most powerful nations go, should we stop doing this? It seems like a terrible system. Only then will the smaller nations be, even have any alternative. They've got no choice. That's the only option available to them. We've removed all other... Well, they say, JFK said, when you make peaceful revolution impossible, you make violent revolution inevitable. You're around JFK then. Now, Mr. President, you may see yourself as a war hero. The tide of war is receding. Core Al-Qaeda is on its heels, has been decimated. Uh, the world is less violent than it has ever been. He looks knackered now, doesn't he, Barack Obama? Oh, fuck. This is job I thought it was going to be. This is awful. I'm so excited. Were you excited? Well, yes, we can. Change, all that. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? He's plugged into a system that is charged with an energy that is corrupt. It don't matter who you plug into that system, they'll just go, any decent people like it. He probably is decent. I don't think he is some sort of Illuminati lizard creature because he looks like a human being bearing a terrible burden now, his face all broken and knackered. The truth? There has been a 60% increase in radical Islamist terrorism since you've been in office. When did that system start? Of like addressing Barack Obama, like he sat in his dressing room going, like, oh, to give it a rest, love, Michelle's been having a go at me. Now Justice Judge Janine's piping up. And the kids are pissing me off. He's knackered. Leave him alone. And you just keep letting these guys out. Like the Bergdahl trade and the five terrorists, you didn't have the balls to try and get Mo or federal court. You are simply clueless. I do have, and I don't recommend it, but there are porn sites available where you can, like, a woman will abuse you down the camera. She'll go, like, look at you. Look at your little dick. You think that I'd fulfill you? Oh, yeah, what are you going to do with that thing? You want to smell my ass? You want to sniff my bum bum? They say stuff like that. And, uh, obviously, I've only been watching them as part of a campaign to have them banned. This woman is like those people. There have been reports that say ISIS was trained by U.S. instructors at a secret base in Jordan to prepare them to fight President Assad as rebels. It's your feckless, weak foreign policy on the world stage that is creating a danger zone for all Americans. That's always been the policy, the Mujahideen, Al-Qaeda. Well, you just do that to destabilize regions, to create economic opportunities. That's just the standard policy. Don't get angry about it just because you don't like that particular president. Mr. President, Americans don't trust you for good reason. We're not convinced you even know who the enemy is. You release terrorists, you cut deals with Iran, you dance around with your political correctness while they sharpen their knives. There's a point, like, for me, there's like a point where I'm like, oh, God, you're evil, you're evil, you're evil. Then just become sort of like a sublime, blissful, comedic entity. Like, a, you can't sort of take her seriously. She just becomes like a drill or just some odd abstract noise. Like, sort of like, you would tap her on the shoulder and go, you don't really believe all of this, do you? No, of course not. Mr. President, you are playing a very dangerous game for which you are ill-prepared. And it is the American people who will suffer. There you go. That's all the weather. <laughs> Mostly, it was invective, just incendiary language, just volatile, combative, angry language. I don't think that's helpful. I don't think that should be... That, that, I'm not being just sensational. I think that is more dangerous than ISIS, that attitude. Because that has, that's far-reaching. That's really affecting millions and millions of people. Thank you. Thank you, America. a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.